Hello, today we will see about log conflicts. Now logs you must have studied when you have uh, studied the course of database management system DBMS. There are logs shared and exclusive logs and for one transaction to work on any resource then that transaction needs to have a log on that particular resource. Now in the log system there are certain conflicts so what is meant by log conflict and when why it occurs is log conflict occurs when a session suppose the session is s1 it attempts to access a row or table but that row or table is logged by another session s2 so if s2 has a log on this table table 1 and s1 tries to access the same table then there will be a error of log or we can say that log conflict has occurred now the example can be a very basic example can be suppose s2 is accessing this table and it fires a query update table 1 set salary equals to salary plus 100 where employee id is equals to 1 and it forgets to commit the transaction so commit has not been executed since commit has not been executed the lock is not released and if S1 also tries to fire a same query on this table suppose update table 1 and same or different execution but it, it, it is trying to update the same table which is currently being logged by S2 so it will receive at this point log conflict error and the error can be a transaction that you are or the resource that you are trying to access is currently logged or held by another session or user so this is how log conflict occurs now how a database administrator can detect that log conflict has occurred is explained in this in this part of the lecture so next part deals with detecting log conflict As a DBA you can use performance page performance page in enterprise manager to detect log conflict this is one of the utility of the Oracle database that you can as a DBA you can access performance page which is present in enterprise manager to detect log conflicts under that you need to view sessions you need to view a session that is actually blocking other sessions from obtaining log so what a D, what what db will do is db will try to identify which session is preventing other sessions from acquiring log so in this case s2 is that session now the question is how a DBA can identify which session is the session which is preventing other sessions from getting a log so in the view sessions you can go to blocking sessions link there is one utility which is blocking sessions link this particular link displays all the conflicting sessions this will display all conflicting sessions and under that particular session the topmost session is the one which needs to be 
terminated or needs to be asked to release the log so in this case there will be a hierarchy like this s2 then s1 s2 is the one which has the log currently on table 1 and s1 is the one is the session which is in the queue and waiting for s2 to release the log so that it can acquire a log on table 1 so this is how a db can detect a log now we will see how to resolve the log conflict resolving log conflict can occur in various ways one way is to identify the session which is causing the problem and then ask the user which is the owner of that session to release the log so one way is to ask the user of that session to release the log and the second way if the user doesn't doesn't release if the user refuses to release the log then dba simply has to terminate that particular session so once the session which is causing the problem which is in in, in this case is s2 so once the log is released or this is terminated then this particular resource becomes available and S1 can now log this particular table to access the data. So this is a very brief introduction about log conflict, how log conflict occurs and the way of for database administrator to detect the logs and how we can resolve the log conflict. Thank you.